Now we can look for the intersection of two lines using vectors as well. You've done it plenty of times before using Cartesian coordinates, so we'll just look at how this works with vectors. Okay, so first of all we have r equals a plus lambda b. So that's our vector equation of this line. And we have another um, line that's going to intersect with that. Now if we're doing an intersection we'd find where those two lines were equal to each other to find those coordinates. So we have another line that's c plus uh, mu d. So another vector equation of a line. And we're going to work out when they are equal to each other. So these it's easiest to show you with an example. We're going to find the point of intersection of these two lines. Now note that I'm using lambda and mu as the, the two separate things on the two separate lines so we don't get confused. Okay, so if we look at the top line here, we have to work out when one minus two lambda is equal to zero plus mu. So just taking the top line of each of those uh, vector equations then we also look at the next line, 3 minus lambda equals minus 2 minus mu. Now we've got two simultaneous equations and two unknowns, so we can solve from here. So if we rearrange each of those equations into a, a more useful form, and then we'll call them equation 1 and 2, and we're going to solve these simultaneously. So we get lambda equals 2 and mu equals minus 3. Now we just need to do a final check that it works on the third line and that we haven't made any mistakes. So that third line there where we've got 1 plus uh, 2 lambda on the left and 8 plus mu on the right. And if we put in our values, we've got lambda is 2, that gives us 5 on the left. And mu being minus 3, that gives us 5 on the right. So yes, it does work. And we have found our values of lambda and mu. So now put that into one of those equations so that we can actually find the point of intersection. Make sure you do finish off this equation, sorry, this question to, to find that those uh, points and not just stop there at having found lambda and mu. Doesn't matter which of the equations you put it into. Uh, I've chosen the first one and we're using lambda equals two. So if we work that out, we get minus 315 as our point of intersection. Okay, another example, we're going to find the point of intersection of the line joining A, B and C, D. Okay, so A, B looks like this, so first of all we need to set up our vector equations. This was what you saw in the previous video, and C, D looks like this. So we get our vector equation for the second line as follows. Okay, now we can carry on with uh, looking at those each line of those equations and setting them equal to each other so that we can get our simultaneous equations and solve those so we've got mu and lambda. Then we need to check on the third line that it still works and it does, we've got, we end up with 4 equals 4, so that's fine, it's all correct. And then pop that into one of those equations for the uh, line so that we can get the actual point of intersection.